Zoom. Sorry, what? I said which one's fuzzy. <laughs> I like Zoom better. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, at least you can kind of muscle your way through this crowd. What's your start question, guys? Welcome back. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. <clears throat> Why are you coming back? Why coming back? Yeah. Uh, you know, man, um, Illinois has been my family for a long time. Um, you know, been a part of my recruitment process. You know, it was, it was my favorite. Obviously, I came here. Um, you know, I feel like I created so much, like, great relationships on and off the court. You know, um, this is where I'm going to cement my legacy, man. You know, this is where I came. I'm building my legacy right now. And another year, Illinois is just going to give me an opportunity to go up, above and beyond, you know? What does legacy mean to you? Like, why is that important to you? It means everything, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, it's, it's very rare you see a kid go to college and you know he gets the opportunity that I get and did did the things that I did. You know, so like I just figured like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna come back be as get a, get a, as, as better as as much as possible. And you know, to grow with these with, with this team, I think it's a really good group of guys. Um, you know, I did my own own little deal on them where. I, I looked at the game and looked at it, what, what they played like and stuff like that. So I really think it's a good team. And for a moment, some people thought you might play elsewhere. Like, how real did that become for you? Um, you know, I never really focused on it a lot. You know, um, I was basically head on and going to the NBA. So I, I never really focused on like that part. But it came down to the deadline where I was like, oh yeah, I might consider coming back to college. So just wanted to leave my options open. But I never really thought about it that much. You know, Illinois has been my home, and you know. It's going to continue to be my home for a long time. What was that what process was that? like where I mean, you were all in on the NBA just to maybe make that decision? It was like, it's not maybe the time. Yeah, um, yeah it, was, it was a really good process. You know, I learned a lot of good, good things. You know, I heard some things I need to work on. It was a really good process for me. I'm just like mentally like being able to like acknowledge, yeah, this is what I need to do. This is where I could be. This is where I could go right now. You know, and I just have to, like, it must have been an ego check, you know, like, you got to check your ego sometimes, you know, like, all right, yo, this may be not the best decision for you. You could put yourself in a way better situation, you know, you just take your time and, you, you know, put the slow grind. What do you make, sir, was the best feedback you got from? Best feedback? Yeah, from um, the teams. My other teams told me that I'm ready to play right now, you know, with just my size and God-given ability, but I don't want to settle for that, you know, I want to I want to be great, I want to be great, you know, I want to keep growing my game, and if I could grow, grow my game and, you know, get this higher, then so be it. What are some of those other things you can add another year in college and what they can bring out of you here in Champaign? Just my other of the past, you know, showcase that some more. Um, you know, just like IQ level, show that. You know, I can always um, improve on the defensive end. Um, they need big guys to dominate the glass, so that's, that's, that's the main focus right now. Okay, how exciting is it for you to be able to increase your own legacy through name, image, likeness? Have you started to reach out to companies or had companies reach out to you in that aspect yet? It's surreal, man. You know, like, like I said, it's once in a lifetime opportunity, man. Like, I'm really enjoying it right now. I'm loving it. Um, I never really, I haven't really focused on that yet, um, that, the business side of it. Um, I, I'm going to leave that to my people. I need to focus on my game right now and helping Illinois you know, be better. So, uh, whenever, whenever that happens, it will happen. I'm going to take my time with it. How cool. big of an impact is NIL on, on your decision? I, I would imagine you would have gone pro if not. It's a really good thing, man, giving kids this opportunity. You know, um, kids been going through a long time, you know, just coming to college and working, working their, their butts off, you know, and I feel like this is really giving them a chance to appreciate it more, you know, and like make something of themselves and build, um, build. Um, relationships with companies and stuff like that, you know, just to grow their, their, their brand. Cody, you're the national player of the year and national championship team. I mean, uh, how big are the goals for you this year? It's big, man. We, we, we don't have a limit to it. Um, it's, 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 it's endless. Um, you know, we're going to keep working. Like I said, um, I, I really like this team. Um, this team is going to give me an opportunity to play with a different team than, I, than I'm used to, and I'm just ready for, for the challenges, man. Kofi, were there any challenges being so close to the NBA and being in that mindset and then kind of flipping back to coming back to college? I mean, that's everyone's dream to get there. Was it hard for you to, to kind of reassess where you were? No, it, was, it wasn't hard. I know, I, know, I know how the process is. I know how to trust the process. I've came a long way. And like just making that decision, it wasn't hard for me because I know how to say, okay, this is not the best decision. I'm always going to stick to the best decision. You know, I'm never going to rush, rush things. Um, if, God, if that's the way God wants it, then that's the way it's going to be. So I'll take, I'll take things slow. So it wasn't really hard for me. How did you let the coaching staff know that you were coming back? What was that moment like to just spread that message to them? It was really, I, I was ready to do it like for, for, a little, for a little while before I did it. And when I finally got it out and told them, I was, it was like a relief, you know, like, yeah, like I get to go back now and let's get right back to work, you know? I just had it like, that whole process was a little bit stressful for me. And then after I was able to tell them that I'm coming back here, you know, this is where I belong. And it was just like unreal. Like, Coach Underwood mentioned that uh, he was impressed that you were so well conditioned when you came back yesterday and for the workout today. What did you do to stay grounded during that time when you were uh, in the NBA draft and then out? Did you stay uh, obviously uh, training uh, around? I, I just did what I, what I always did, you know, um, conditioning by myself. You know, I have a great strength coach um, back in Dallas that I was working with. 
um, you know, little skills, um, skill session, just keep, my, keep myself going, you know, keep my body going, getting that cardio. So it wasn't really hard, just consistency. How do you feel like you have developed in these months as you're preparing for the draft? I've developed a lot, you know, people are going to see it um, this coming year um, while we play. Um, you know, I definitely worked on, you know, just my IQ playing from the top of the key, um, being able to make the right pass, make the right reads. Um, you know, just like up in my motor, I feel like it's all mental and you, you can always be better, you know, so I'm just going to focus on those, those, those things, like I said, and just being able to show the mid-range, you know, show that I've, I've touched. What's it like for an All-American when you enter the transfer portal? Like, what's the contact like? It was crazy. Um, you know, it was crazy. It was, it was times where I had to put my phone down, you know, I was getting so much calls and so many, like, you know, so many tweets and, and, um, and DMs and stuff like that. I had to put my phone down for a couple of days. You know, it was, it was, it was incredible. What was it like hearing from Antigua? I know you said Kentucky was a serious option. What was that like, that dynamic? It was, it was interesting. Um, you know, um, Antigua was my guy, like I said. And Antigua, he, he, he gave me some really good um, advice, you know, about making my decision. And, like, he's always been there for me, you know. I just feel like I need to give him the opportunity, you know, to, like, recruit me and, you know, just, I owe him that, you know what I'm saying? What was maybe your biggest takeaway from going through the, the NBA process? My biggest takeaway? Um, you know, like, for, first when I was going in there, I was like, kind of like, oh yeah, like, this is a big step for me. And then when I, when I got to the, got to doing the process, you know, just like, got to working out, got to like, got to go to the G League combine and stuff. I just felt like I belonged there, you know, like I felt like I could play here. So I, that was really like interesting, you know, that, that kind of boosted my confidence and made me know, okay, if I come back here now and I do what I need to do, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I feel like I'm ready. You, know you and Kyle had a really good relationship. Is it exciting for you in a way to know that this is kind of your program, you're the face of it now, and it's you? It's really exciting. And it's not just me, you know, like, like I, I get what you're saying, and this is just me telling you, like, it's not it's not going to be just me. I have really good players around me. Andre Cabello is going to be a really, really good player. Might be an All-American. Um, you know, Trent Spurs has done what he's done for five years now. He's about to be five years. Demonte Williams, like, my team is a really, really good player, and people are going to see that. Kobe, was, how was, would you describe your relationship with Jeff Alexander? How did that progress throughout the entire process? I have, I have a really good relationship with him. He was one of the main reasons I came back here. I um, mean, you know, just being, being around me, you know, showing me, oh, this is family, this is home, you know, just giving me that support throughout the process, you know, and I've, I've, I've developed a really good relationship with him over the years. You know, he's helped me work in my game the whole summer before I went to Dallas, and, you know, we just want to keep working. So, would you, you say the lot? NBA doubts you? I mean, does, does the NBA think you're not ready? Do, do, does that make you hungry to prove them wrong a little bit? Um, I wouldn't say I'm, I wouldn't say they doubt me, but like you know, it's always things you can work on. You know, as a player, and you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a developing player. You know, I just started playing basketball five years ago. I have a long way to go. You know, I, I definitely feel like I'm ready. I, I have the most confidence in the world. You know, I trust my, I trust the process. I trust myself, and I trust, I put trust in my work. You know, I'm, I'll get there. How excited to have another year with Andre, who is arguably one of the most excited players in college basketball. I'm really excited, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I, I see what he could do. I see what, how how he plays and like the position that he put me in. And I'm just excited. I'm ready to go. Kofi, what is it like to have a whole community, a whole state, literally waiting, and they all celebrated a lot when, when you announced you're coming out? What's that like for you to experience that kind of attention and fanfare and excitement? It's incredible, man. And that's the reason I was here. I came here in the first place. You know, just being here on my on my visit and seeing that that fan base, you know, coming out. It was a Christmas break when I came here, and all the fans were here, everybody from the hometown. The kids were off campus, but the stadium was still packed. And like, that just like gave me a sense of, you know, these people really care about basketball. They really care about um, Illinois, you know, and like it's, it keeps going, you know, it keeps getting better and better as we, as we progress um, through, through, through the past two years. And it's, it's really exciting, man. They're great people. How do you describe it? Because like, none of us really know what that is like, but like everywhere you go, I'm assuming people want to say hi or welcome back. How do you describe what these few days have been like? It's really hard to, it's really hard to describe, man. It's incredible, man. Like. This is the love, you know. It's like even when I put myself in, the, I put my name in transfer portal. I didn't get any bad comments. I didn't get any hate. They were really supportive about, um, towards me. And I really appreciate that. What was it like walking into this building again today? Maybe at one point you didn't think you'd come back as a player. And what's it like, you know, flipping the mentality of I'm going pro to I got another year here? I was trying to be cool walking in, but like <laughs> when, once I got through those doors, man, I got I got so pumped, man. I, I just felt like a bunch of energy, energy just soaring through my body. Like I was ready to go. I got on the court for the first time in a long time with them. And I was just so excited. I was trying to go. I was ready to go, man. I, I love it. Kobe, it's rare that somebody with your resume already comes back for a third year. Io did the same thing. What do you think? What did you see from him about what a third year can can mean for you? Yeah. It's about being humble. Like I said, trust trusting your game. You know, and it's like not rushing things. You know, a lot of guys. I see a lot. A lot of, I heard a lot of stories about guys that just rush, rush things and they and they put themselves in bad situations. I'm I'm really. I want to put myself in a good situation where I could be successful and help build my game for a long time. So I'll, I'll give myself that chance. 
There's a question about some stuff that yeah, you sold from some previous gear. Is that a big obstacle right now? Not really. We're working through it. You know, I leave that to coach and, and their staff. Yeah. Is there any worst case scenario that you're aware of? With all that? Not that I'm aware of. I'm, I'm just focused on basketball right now. <laughs> I leave that to I leave that to coach and them. Is it safe to say without what impact did NIL have on you coming back to college, whether it was here or anywhere else? Yeah, it had, it had a really big impact. You know, um, one of my that's one of my main goals. You know, for working this hard. You know, obviously financial reasons. I want my help. I want to help my family. Put them in in good situations. And the NIL really gave me a chance to really to get a deep breath. You know, take a deep breath. Like. Like relax now, make sure you're making the right decision and you don't gotta rush nothing, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely gave me like that, that wake up call, like yeah, you, you could possibly go back to college, like you could think about it now. And does so, it open up opportunities for you in Jamaica too? Yeah, it definitely did. You know, Jamaica, they, they support me a lot. You know, that's my country. I'm, I'm representing them. I think, I, I think I'm representing them well, <laughs> you know, so I, that definitely is, is gonna open up opportunities for me back home. Yeah. Kofi, it's, um, you know, obviously you wanna get to the NBA as, as quickly as possible, but does this open up a path where college basketball can be a career? Opportunity yeah, so, for guys like, yeah. multiple 100%, 100%. A lot of guys that that, that want to go pro early, and they, this is going to give them a lot of chance to say, okay, I don't need to rush it. Like, to, to keep them level-headed. Like, yeah, I can stay here, develop my game, get better, and give myself the best opportunity, like I said, you know, while making money. So definitely give them. You mentioned Jamaica. I think there was a mural of you there. What is, I mean, you're new to basketball, right? But because of basketball, I'm assuming that's part of the reason you have that. What was that like to see that? What kind of emotion? Came over it was incredible, man. I cried, man. I cried when I saw that, man. It was really incredible. Like, just knowing that my community supported me all the way through. They, they sent me videos of them watching the game, and it's uh, how pumped they are. We celebrate different back home. It's a lot more like banging and a lot more screaming and jumping. <laughs> and like, it was just incredible, man. Every time, after every game, you know, it's just them sending me those videos, supporting me, like texting me. My cousin texted me, like, yo, everybody was watching today. It's just a great feeling, you know. Is, is that real to you yet? That basketball, something you just started in the last decade, has kind of put you in this position with this earning potential, with this following? I'm really aware, man, and that's keep that's keep me level headed. That's keep me humble because I know how much better I got in such a short period of time, and I know how much better I could get. And I always remember where I came from. You get what I'm saying? So I definitely have a huge part of, to play in who I am and you know what I stand for. Kofi, your jersey's gonna be in the Raptors someday. What's that mean to you? It means the world, man. You know, it's, like I said, it's rare to get to leave his legacy like that. And to know that my, my jersey will be in that Raptors for a very long time. And like, people are gonna come and even when I pass, people are gonna come and people are gonna see that jersey and say, that's Kofi Cobra. He did something special here. That's incredible. You and Omar were in the same class. Were you familiar with him at all? And how do you feel like you guys can you know, team up together? Omar's a really good player. I think Omar, he's really talented, he's really skilled. And I don't think he was able to show that, um, you know, People are going to start seeing that, like I said, when we start playing. But I think Omar's really special towards this team, and like it gives us a depth, you know, like that we that we really need. And he's going to do great things this year. You mentioned you know maybe this year's team could be a little bit different than last year's, and just as good. What do you like about you know, the group of players that you have? Um, last year we were more of a two point um two point field goal team. Um, you know, we shot bad from three. I think these guys right now they're really good three point shooters. Like probably the best I've seen. You know, you know Alfonso coming in, Luke is a really good shooter. Trent Frazier, we got him back. Demonte was the best shooter in college basketball last year, you know. That's giving us that, that, that extra, like, like space, you know. Kofi, how much of you coming back is getting over that hump in the NCAA tournament, getting rid of that sting that's from the Loyola loss? Yeah, it definitely gave me a chance to come back. Um, like, that was one of the things I was thinking about while deciding, like, do I want to leave Illinois on a, on a loss, you know? Like, that was really important to me. Like, I want to leave Illinois while winning something big and doing something special, you know what I'm saying? At least, like, taking us, like, as far as I can. You know, so that, that was definitely one of the reasons I decided, yeah, this is a good thing coming back here. You and I have talked a lot, or some, during the process last year about decisions. Did you talk to him at all before you're making yours yeah. this time? What was that like? With it, was, him? it was good. You know, like, I communicated with him. He told me what teams thought. You know, like, you know, teams asked me about him and teams asked him about me. And, like, you know, we just commute and, like, it's like, yeah, you know, teams have this, this, that, that, you know. And, like, me and I, we support each other. You know, we're really good on the phone a lot. You know, we text a lot. Like, he's one of my best friends, you know, so it was just like, just us throughout the whole process, whether or not we live in the same state. This is a really big process. Did you learn anything about yourself over the last <laughs> four months, five months? Yeah, I did. You know, I just learned how much, how much, how much more I could work. You know, like, I, you know, every every level you get and every stage you take in life, you think you you're putting the most work you can, and then you realize that yo, you could really be doing much more. You know, this could give me a chance to realize that yo, you could be in the gym three times a day, four times a day if you really wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So like, it just gave me gave me the opportunity to think about that and, and realize that yo. There's more work to be done, you know? Humble yourself and put the work in. After a year with no fans, uh, season tickets are on sale. You got a 
Got a message for Illini fans and, and, and a thought of state from center with fans? Yeah, man, get ready to lose your mind, man. <laughs> Tell me that right now. Get ready to lose your mind. <laughs> Kofi, on Sunday, is Jamaica against USA in soccer. Do you have any uh, predictions for us? <laughs> You're putting me in a spot right here, man. <laughs> you know, that Jamaica's my country, man. I got Jamaica all the way, you know. Like, yeah. Really good players on that team, and I'll, I'll, I'll be tuned in. All right. Kofi, how quickly do you – there's a lot of projections about what you could be, player of the year, All-American, things like that, the team as well. And how much of that do you, I guess, put stock in, and how much do you just, I guess, throw it away and just focus on the moment? Obviously, I'm aware that, you know, that's, that's, that's pride right there. You know, you want to be the best you can be. You want to achieve all those things. But, like, I'm going to win it first, man. You know, when I started playing this game, I, I, was, I, wasn't, as, I wasn't as good as most kids, but I always wanted to win, and that's what got me here. So that's my goal right now, you know, come back to Illinois. Like I said, cementing my legacy. Even if I don't get player of the year, I want to win something big. I want to do something big for Illinois, you know, and leave my legacy. Yeah, we just got done talking with Brad, and he's always been high on Coleman and what he can do. What do you think is possible for him? Coleman. In second year, yeah. Coleman's a, he's an incredible player. I don't think people realize how good he is. I don't think he knows how good he is. I think he's, he has the opportunity to be one of the best Illini players ever. If he, you know, just focus up and keep working, you know, he's, he's a really good player. He's really talented. Shoots the ball really well. He's a, he's a six ten guard basically. And he's, people are gonna start seeing it, like I said. It's just, it's just about time. All right, thanks, Kobe. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Thanks, Kobe. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you.